Hey guys, Money Man 300. I want to do a quick update video here because there was some news that came out of E3 out of the Microsoft press conference about Forza 5, and that is that Nurburgring has been released for all players on Forza 5. This is a free download, so you can see it here. As you see on the screen, the ring is here. So, also along with Nurburgring, there is a car pack that's out. Uh, that one is not free for all players that uh, is obviously no additional charge for those of you that are car pass owners or you can choose to buy it or not but real quickly let's walk down through here and take a look a lot of details on what they've done here uh, you know without laser scan kind of all the same the same stuff um, they got some pictures of it out here and uh, they talk about uh, you know being more alive and more challenging than ever before with massive elevation change surface variety and camber changes to keep you on your toes lap after lap so so we did get i think a lot of players have been looking forward to this one there had been some rumors about it so we got nurburgring today it is live now it's about a 2.4 gig update when you pop in forza 5 that's going to download and let's dive real quick into the car pack so there's some interesting cars in here i'm not quite sure yet what to make of it but let's walk down through here the first one we have is a 1989 Audi number four quattro imsa gto this is a p-class car i went through and kind of looked at it a little bit in the game this one starts out in in p-class so uh, i don't race a lot up in there so this is a it's kind of a cool looking interesting car there uh, the next one is the 1967 Brabham BT24, and if I remember right, this thing started pretty low in the C-class range, but um, yep, that's a, a Brabham model here. Um, so there's that car. Then we got the 2013 Ford Formula EcoBoost. So uh, this is a different kind of series of car here. This one started, I think, in A-class, if I remember right. So. Uh, this is kind of an interesting little ride here, and you can you can read about it. Um, yeah, it's a little over 200 horsepower, but it's really light, really small. And then the next one we have is a 1939 Maserati 8 CTF, and this starts in the D or you know lower class range is D, I believe, B maybe C. But anyway, there's there's that one, another kind of a, a roadster type of car, and then this interesting thing here, the 1956 Lotus 11. This definitely starts at in D class. It weighs about a thousand pounds and starts out with like 80 horsepower. So, uh, going to be real interesting to see what people do with this car uh, as it goes on. And that so that's it for those. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. So just four cars. Four. So we get five cars in this car pack. Um, I don't, nothing really jumps off the page at me. It's something that I would you know want to run out and build. Definitely doesn't. In my opinion compared to the last car pack but there's some road style cars here and maybe that's that that was the case let's get these out on the ring and, and play around with them so so there's the car pack there is uh, uh our update with nurburgring i'm gonna get out there and uh, see if we can't get some laps on it and uh, i'm actually gonna leave you with a, a drop off of the commentary here and just leave you with a lap on the ring and uh thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one later